Trappers are working to catch some wily crocodiles in Coral Gables after one bit two swimmers. So far, the crocs have eluded capture and the trappers have another obstacle in the way. Some neighbors determined to keep the crocs right where they are. CBS 4's Natalia Zea has more from Coral Gables. Fringes when he sees trappers working to capture the crocodiles swimming in the canals in his neighborhood. He treasures the crocs, especially this 11 footer who the neighborhood calls Poncho. We have a personal attachment to him. We go out there and, and sit on the in the evenings in the backyard. You see him cruising slowly around. He's not bothering anybody. His attachment is so strong, he admits he blasted rock music Tuesday evening as a warning to Poncho while the trappers worked to catch him. One FWC officer called the move sabotage. It was nice music, and hopefully Poncho was being hearing it and maybe deciding he should go underwater and not surface all, all evening. For three days, Trapper Todd Hardwick has been trying to flush Poncho out of his favorite resting spots to capture him. Hardwick says this crocodile that bit the man and woman swimming in the canal at 2.30 in the morning over the weekend is the same size as Poncho. And he says belly marks on the ground from the site of the attack to the canal where Poncho is now swimming connects him to the incident. The trapper Hardwick tells me he knows Poncho well. He's caught him twice and relocated him to the Keys. And both times Poncho has made his way back to this canal. And now Poncho knows his tricks. Wednesday morning, the traps they set using pig liver were ripped open, the bait eaten, and the line cut. Poncho isn't the only croc that lives here. This amateur video shows another crocodile brazenly swimming right toward a dock while people stood on it. Falk believes this smaller crocodile is the culprit behind the bites. They don't have any proof at all that Poncho was involved in that attack. But many homeowners here want Poncho and any other croc to be moved out of this neighborhood. They should be relocated even if they come back uh, as often as, as needed because there are people and there are small children and there are kids in this neighborhood. Now the trappers tell me any croc over nine feet that they catch here in these canals will be put in captivity because of those bites of those people who were swimming in the water. And they say uh, they will have to poop, move them to like a zoo-like facility or to someone's private property, assuming they have enough acreage, the minimum five acres. Now they have to catch them first. Natalia Zaya, CBS 4 News. Natalia, thank you.